Hi guys, Tony here. I've got an absolute cracker for you today. I'm going to share with you a lick that I have not been able to stop playing the last couple of days. I picked up my guitar the other day with the intention of playing something off the cuff and bluesy and, you know, one of those magical things happened when a riff comes bursting out your soul onto the fretboard and it just feels good. So, uh, I'm looking forward to sharing it with you all. Now, I'm going to show you the lick, I'm going to break it down and then... I am going to put it into context with this really cool progression that I've come up with. It's very simple, but really bluesy and fun, and it just makes the whole thing a joy to play. So make sure you stick around and you get everything um, so you can have as much fun as I've been having. All right, so uh, let's kick it off, and I'll show you the lick. <laughs> So, when I was playing this, I was, uh, before I played it, I was thinking about Just Push Play by Aerosmith. I don't know if you've heard that song. It's one of my favourites, and I had that kind of vibe, that rhythm, um, in my head at the time. Um, the song's in Drop D, and it is different, but it's the same kind of bluesy, funky rhythm. So, so yeah, now what's happening here, I've got an E power chord, and I'm using the open E blues scale, that's what I'm thinking. And, you know, if you're playing an E power chord, you've got 0, 3, 5, 6, 7 on your doorstep. That's the blues scale. 5, 7, 5, 7, 8, 9, 7, 9. <laughs> Alright, so you've got all those notes on your doorstep if you want to play around with that yourself. Alright, so we start off with this cool lick that I have taught before. It goes like this. It's a really great way to get into that power chord. So I've got the open string and a quick pull off on one on the E string. Three with my third finger on the E. And then this power chord. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I've got my first finger on the E string the second fret. It mutes the other strings because it's just lying over the top of them like that. No pressure. So I can really go for that. I can really strum down on it without getting any of the other strings playing out and get that power of the power chord. Alright. So. Now, the thing that makes this sound, uh, you know, cool and flowy, I don't know if that's a word, but. Uh, it's because you've got this rhythm going through the whole thing. That's the secret um, for everything to sound you know, good together, is you're almost strumming with everything. You've got a basic rhythm going on in your head. All right, so I'm gonna show you that as best I can. So. Okay. Get that power chord, and then I'm gonna up stroke, and then a slap. Like that. Now the slap, I just kind of come down like a trigger. Like that. And you just get the strings, you come down with momentum. And the strings should bounce off the fretboard to give you that snare kind of sound. Okay. Then I'm going to come up with another upstroke. Okay. Which is almost like a ghost drum. You don't hear it, but it keeps the rhythm going. All right. right into this riff. Now if I had to do that without the upstroke, sounds like that. Or, okay, you can feel that rhythm when you have that um, going on. So that's what makes the difference. So, down, up, slap, another ghost strum up, just getting those muted strings, and then I'm going to go right into this riff, which is my third finger sliding from three to five, seven, sorry. And then my index finger on five, on the, uh, the E string. So when I'm here, what I do, again, I've got another ghost strum up. 
All right. Just getting those muted strings. And then seven to five, my third finger. And then another ghost strum up. <laughs> and then three. I know this is sounding more complicated than it is, all right? I'm just trying to explain everything rather than you have to hear it. Okay, so again. Okay, again, nice and slow. And it's very subtle that. Okay. And again, I'm not really thinking about all those strum myself. Um, it's just kind of natural for me, but I know a lot of people want to know the exact rhythm and the down ups and stuff. So I'm, I'm trying my best to do that without confusing you too much. All right. So again. Now, I'm going to do the same riff again, and the, the power chord. Come back to 7 on the, o, the E string, and getting my original first riff like, like that, okay? Like that, okay, so. That's it. Okay, now, again, I want to give you some context to play around with that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play that riff maybe four times. All right, again, you can do your own thing with this. So... Let me show you what I did there. After the last riff, I take my first finger and I slide it up to five on the low E string, and I go into this E power chord. I take my third and my pinky uh, on seven on the E and D, and I play those open strings as well, just because it sounds nice, I think. Right? I'm gonna play that for two bars, and at the end, uh, we're gonna play that cool Hendrix lick. So go one. So I'm going to slide from 5 to 7 on the A, then hammer on pull off, from 5 to 7 on the D, then back to 7 on the A, and then back into it again, alright? Let's hear how that sounds all together. You have as much fun as I've been having with that guys um, and yeah before I go I just want to mention that I have just launched my app yeah it's been coming for a long time I've been building it for a long time we've got a lot of different things you're gonna be able to do on it it's on Google Play Store at the moment it will be on uh, the Apple Store very shortly at the moment you can get a bunch of free stuff on there there's my free beginners course and also a bunch of songs that you can practice along with that as well uh, you're also able to get my new course, Guitar Ascension, uh, designed to take beginners to intermediate and beyond, that you can find um, on there as well. I'll send an email with all that, all, all the details. So <clears throat> if you want to support the channel and you like my stuff, please download the app. Uh, it means a lot. Um, anyway, guys, thank you very much. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.